Now, vote counting and tallying is underway in Matungu constituency with agents of various candidates already keeping vigil at the constituency tallying center. Our reporter David Mudoka is in Matungu and joins us live on this broadcast. David, uh, paint for us a picture first of how the day has been in Matungu. Well, Abu Bakr, a good evening from you. I can get you loud and clear. We are at the main talent center for the Matungu by-election. This is the Harambe Talent Center right at the heart of Matungu constituency, where actually vote talent is literally on overdrive. It is a race against time for officials of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission in ensuring that when Matungu residents wake up, they have a new leader who will actually be replacing uh, the late member of parliament for this particular constituency, Justice Murunga. So in as much as uh, Tallinn is, as I mentioned, on overdrive, no result has yet uh, trickled in here at the main Tallinn centre. But we anticipate in the next uh, few minutes or so, uh, we are going to see the first batch of results streaming because over 110 polling centres have been Tallinn counting votes uh, since the close of uh, election, or rather the close of the casting of ballot uh, at 5 p.m. in most of these particular uh, polling centers. So we anticipate uh, votes to start uh, trickling in, and we uh, have a mandate to ensure that you, uh, our viewer, get uh, to know who uh, has an early lead actually first hand here on TV 47. This is a by-election that uh, began on a very good note actually, but uh, overall it has been a chaos-ridden uh, by-election, one that was marred by allegations of voter bribery and violence in some of the polling stations. Actually, as uh, we were here just a few hours after uh, voting had kicked off here at the Harambe polling station, uh, there was a scaffold pitting ANC leaders uh, led by uh, Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala and ODM leaders uh, glad, uh, led by Gladys Wanga of allegations that uh, the ODM party was attempting to bribe uh, voters here and try to, to sway uh, the support uh, towards their candidate David Were. It is uh, those particular allegations by ANC were further reciprocated in other polling centers. Uh, uh, some of whom actually uh, saw voting come to a standstill, uh, but uh, uh, as, as at 4 p.m., almost all uh, polling stations had resumed uh, receiving in voters, and at 5 p.m., every out of the 116 polling stations closed and began tallying immediately. Again, Yes, uh, it is not the only isolated uh, instance of chaos. We also saw earlier today at um, the Budonga polling station where ex-sports uh, uh, cabinet secretary uh, Rashid Achesa slapped one of the IEBC officials and actually uh, security officers uh, in this region launched a manhunt for the ex-cabinet secretary and actually raided his home right here uh, in the western region but he, uh, he, he hasn't uh, been arrested yet, he's still at large. Not so lucky, however, is Kasipul Kabondo, member of parliament, and that is Christopher Were, who was arrested and actually is being detained at the Matungu police station over allegations of vote, uh, voter bribery. So, yes, that has summarized what was anticipated to be a calm, perhaps uh, earlier uh, by election, uh, in as much as here. Uh, at the Harambe polling station, we are keeping a vigil uh, to ensure that this particular by-election uh, culminates into uh, the IEBC announcing a winner. As I mentioned, Abu Bakar, we still have no results that have trickled in right now. As you can, uh, as ca my camera person can pan, you will see all 15 candidates. Uh, 
from the top Achayo Paul Agutu Amonga Christabel Jen Atoko Gregory Lisamadi all and up to Were David Aoko uh, their names have zero next to it and that means we still do not have uh, any results yet from the 116 polling stations again uh, this was an election where the voter turnout wasn't at its best given that this is a vote rich region a region uh, in this case a constituency that has more than 62,000 voters but again we shall be getting finer details on how the turnout was when we uh, interact uh, with the returning officer in this particular uh, by election who has been conducting actually and overseeing the whole by election at Matungu John Kirui uh, I, I don't know whether we can have a moment with him uh, he's approaching he's been the RO just for one quick question Ab Abubakar Karibu sana bwana Kirui. Asante. Uh, labda tu uh, you uh, put it out there for our viewer. How has the whole uh, by election been especially from where you sit? Uh, from where where I sit uh, generally uh, we are doing good. We did good. Uh, the voting went on well. Uh, greater percentage it was peaceful apart from a few incident, incidents here, here and there which uh, we were able to intervene. Uh, and voting resumed. Uh, as we speak, we are expecting our pre uh, presiding officers any minute from now, and we'll start tallying. And uh, within some uh, couple of hours, uh, I believe we'll have the winner, and we'll have known the will of the people of Matungu, uh, whether it has been expressed. Yeah, otherwise, uh, we, we the uh, tallying. We are going to tally these results uh, within uh, laid down regulations and the election laws. Yes. Just one more question: How has been the voter turnout been, given the fact that a by-election doesn't attract as much voters as a normal general election would? We, we are yet to receive the results, so we are we don't know what what the percent that the voter turnout has at now. But uh, generally, uh, I believe the turnout was average. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, thank you. You, you too. Welcome. Abu Bakar, that was John Kirui, the returning officer in this particular by-election at Matungu. Uh, we intend to keep you abreast of what happens here uh, in the next few hours. He has given us a guarantee that within a couple of hours, yes, uh, we are going to see some action in that uh, particular uh, projected list of, uh, 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 of results. Back to you in studio, Abu Bakar. Abu Bakar. Well, David Mudoka, before I let you go, one final question. This race pits, among others, uh, David Were of ODM, uh, Peter Nabulindo of ANC, and Alex Lanya. Let's talk of the ODM-ANC beta split within NASA that was at least in, in theory, but that seemingly was more practical today, has it not been? Well, Abu Bakar, I haven't heard your question uh, quite well, perhaps uh, for my benefit. Uh, could you repeat it, please? David, I'm asking, we have in the last two weeks been witnessing a split in NASA, at least a verbal exchange, but there was more than verbal exchange in the NASA uh, siblings today. There were physical confrontations. Well, Abu Bakr, as I put it earlier, it has not been a, 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 a by-election devoid of all the chaos, of all the drama that we often witness in, in regions where uh, these particular ties are neck to neck. And actually, perhaps it is the first time we are seeing uh, the principles of the uh, in this case, defunct NASA political outfit go full throttle, head to head, and uh, it, it definitely uh, draws a lot of attention. It is indeed a high stakes affair, Abu Bakr. All right, that is our reporter, David Mudoka, who is live in Matungu. Of course, the results are expected to be streaming in any minutes from now. Remember, just on the numbers, the constituency has five wards, a total of 116 polling stations. Uh, 